It's before dawn on Valentine's Day. No box of chocolates here. here. And if there were, it wasn't what this guy was after. I'm trying to steal uh, some chainsaws and other type of devices like that. The store was closed. Uh, workers came in the morning, saw someone inside, and immediately called police. Inside, officers start the search, but it's canine Bowie who picks up the scent. And tracked onto this bad guy and led him right to the roof. Look at him. How he got there? We don't know. And police say they didn't need to know right then either. Instead, they needed the fire department. Officers all make the climb, including Bowie. The barking dog up on the roof is a good motive to put your hands up and come out. But for more than an hour, he doesn't. Police scale a second roof, Bowie leading the way. Was the man armed or injured? Police don't know. As the sun is rising, the roof becomes slippery. Be careful, we don't fall through this roof, too. And Bowie's on the hunt. He tracks him from the Hope Depot to the neighboring Target. Guys on the ground, just the perimeter accordingly. So he jumped roofs at this point. And more than an hour after the call began. Dad, I see him right there. He's right there. Let me see your eyes, dude. Don't move. On the ground, on your stomach. The man is caught. You by yourself? You injured? Now, with hundreds or thousands of people who come in and out of the store every day, how did Bowie know that that guy was on the roof? Police say that's why the cues between a handler and the dog are dog are so important here. They also so important here. They also stress there were no injuries, not the police or 36-year-old man.